Hello everyone, thank you for joining me for another tutorial. This video is about Twitter. If you have a small or large business, do you need to be on Twitter? In my experience, the answer is yes. In this video, I will give you a brief overview of how to use Twitter. I then tell you about the best practice tips for businesses. The first thing you'll need to do is create an account. Go to twitter.com. As you can see, we're now on the home page of Twitter. If you've already created an account, you would just log in from here. My um, username is a user um, Twitter handle, as you can see here. My password would be there. If you're new to Twitter, you'd have to go to this section, f fill out your name, your email and your password and sign up for Twitter. What will happen then is you'll be given a verification email. You'll need to sign that, but you will also have to choose your own username. Many people get a wee bit spooked out about, about that, but don't worry, you can change these usernames at a later date. It's not impossible to change them. So bear that in mind. The advice I would give you for a personal account is to try and get something similar to your name. You, you'll probably find it quite difficult. Um, it's not the end of the world if you some have some silly name. It's it's fine. It's a personal account. And, but for a business, and you're trying to create something, it, it's you've got to put a bit more effort in. I would, in my recommendation, to put a bit more effort in to find something similar to your brand because therefore it's easier to search, it's searchable on Google and many of these other features, the benefits of that. It is more difficult and I'm not 100% happy with mine. It's aspiration underscore UK. It's, it's decent. It's nothing great, but it's decent. Now I'm going to sign into my account. And here you are at the home, Twitter's homepage, not your homepage, but Twitter's homepage. You can see on this screen, the basic information of my name, my real name, my Twitter handle, my Twitter name, I should say, and the information's a little wrong there, but I think but I'll, that doesn't, it doesn't matter, right? As you can see, there's four tabs at the top. I'm just going to hover over them very quickly to show you roughly what the main methods of displaying information on Twitter is. As your home button, it'll take you directly to here. Your notifications, if you click on this item, this tab, sorry, and it get as you can see the wee bell at the top, it will pop up and it will come up show you all the latest notifications. These are people that have started following you, have retweeted you and done all sorts of things and added you to list and so on and so on. Basically anything that's happened in association with your account, that is where you'll get all the notifications from. This is the discovery tab. Now this I don't use as much. This is so-called based on your followers, your retweets and many of your interactions. So these so these people may be from people you're not even following and it's just information, news and many of this stuff and it's this I think it's also regionally targeted as well, I believe, but it's not a hundred percent. So we go into the final tab me. And this is your new homepage at Twitter, redesigned recently. As you can see, the image is vast. It's one of the most biggest images I can think of, like a cover photo. It is a bit of a headache to get something. My recommendation is not to really bother with text and do some abstract backgrounds, or if you've got a really good photo, something landscape-based or something like that, you, you, you'll be able to judge yourself what's best for yourself. Now, as you can see from here, it tells you all the information here from tweets, to photos and videos, following, followers and favourites. And there's more. You've got your bio here. You've got your thumbnail images of uh, videos and pictures. And as you can scroll down, these are, it's quite messy. And it is quite messy. But these are, this is your feed. Now, one thing they've introduced recently which they didn't have only to a matter of a couple of weeks. If you notice this, this thing, this is from my YouTube account, and I've shared this video, uh, and from what from one video, um, from a video I subscribe, a channel that I subscribe to on YouTube, and you can see it's pin. It says if you look closely, it says pin tweet. This is a new feature that they only in, um, had in the last couple of weeks. I'm just using this mostly personal at the moment, but 
what you could do now it's very much similar to the facebook business pages where you could pin so you could pin if you're in the hairdressing industry or some other industry well any other industry if you're a other web designer or whatever you are doesn't matter you can pin your latest pricing, your latest um, offers right at the top. So that's something that didn't happen, didn't, Twitter didn't have only just a couple of weeks ago. So this is quite a new thing. So what you need to do is you can either go to the more section and you can see, uh, go down to unpin from profile page. Are you sure? Yes. I'll give you information. And this will be the last entry that I've had, so, and it's way down there. But uh, what you need to do, and if you want to see it, so what you need to do is when you pin a post like that, you just go right into the free dashes, right at the bottom, pin to your profile page, and that goes, and it'll double check, are you sure you want to do this? You can either do a free, this is a refresh button, and there it is right at the top. This is quick, and so what I can do by pinning that, it means that you can then have all your latest stories right at the top. Well, it didn't do that, did it? Maybe refresh, I'll just refresh the browser. Oh, it didn't do it. No, it didn't, right, sorry. So what you can do with that is basically you can see for yourself, it means that you can then, if you want to post personal stuff, because sometimes people will also post personal stuff on a Twitter again, it means that quite frankly you can um, not worry about that as the top of your page because it will always be your business information. And that's something that has been actually really desperately needed on, on Twitter for quite some time. So that helps out a little bit. But the problem is, as you can see, for the way I build up followers is to follow back. So, as you can see, I'm following 2,448 people. Now, um, of course, as you can assume, nobody could really do that unless you're a cyborg or something like that. So, as you go to the home page, as you can see, my feed, it will just keep continuing. If, if I just leave it for like a couple of seconds, um, it will it'll just be filled with... You've got... Um, I'll just refresh it and these people it's completely different because there's so much information there's no way you can do it one way you can do it is by typing in names and so if you know the person's handle this is like the long the manual way to do it so if you know someone or their twitter handle you know And then it goes to Bill Gates. And that's how you search for them. Now, uh, one thing is direct messaging. Direct messaging here is not as useful as it is on Facebook. At Facebook, it, this feels very business-based in the sense that it, it's you've only got on Twitter, as I've not even mentioned yet, it's 140 characters. So you're not going to get the big Facebook messaging system as you have on Facebook. So Twitter it's a lot more bare bones and your private messages, DMs, direct messaging, it's the large um, jargon it's used in Twitter, will be short to the point and mostly about business. Now one thing I would recommend when just when you're starting out the account is go into your settings, your gear, go down to settings, um, uh, email notifications, and make sure many of these emails is turned off. I've, I've maybe not, I've maybe not even turned off most of them, but check this from time to time. But to make sure you have them turned off, because if you start to get busy on Twitter, your emails will be your Gmail account, Hotmail account, Outlook account, well, Yahoo account, iCloud, whatever email system you have will be filled with the fill with these types of things. So to make sure for your own sanity is to untick these boxes so you do not get flooded with emails and you'll be a lot happier that way um, so you won't have to delete them or just leave them in their thing so we go back to uh, there's two ways you can pose a tweet well here's like the display icons is showing you but you do this or you can um, uh, sorry you can do it in either the home page the the Twitter homepage, not this page. Oh, I'm now getting confused. 
So there's two ways you can do tweeting. It's from composing it from this. This is what the page you um, this page here gives you the options for photos, locations, and the 140 characters as I mentioned. Or you do on any page this item here with the sort of pen, as you can see, there's the old fashioned uh, feather pen. Fe oh, I don't even know the name of that. God, that's bad. So I'm just going to show you. Hi there, everyone. As you, one of these things, as you notice here, it's very basic, and it um, you've got limited. It'll tell you the hundred. I have 121 characters left. So if I go, blah, 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 you can see the numbers continue to decline. So what you need to do is you just you, know, you just tweet. It's it's fairly simple. It will immediately come up. Refresh it. As you can see, my pin post is at the top, and that is eight seconds ago. It tells you, so it's a bit. It's you've got. To, uh, you can as to sort of. If you want to bin it, I'll just delete it, and there you go. Now to go to someone else's stuff, it's a little difficult to see someone else's stuff. Um. Right, let me think. Right, this is Glasgow Business Network. This is what you would do if you're just going down to these items. This is some kind of advertising meeting rooms. You would either retweet them, uh, retweet them, sorry, favourite, or reply. So if you go to the so, so want to hire a meeting room, oh, I would be interested in that. <laughs> I don't think I'll be writing it like that, but you, I'm just showing you that then you tweet it. It's it's short to the point. Many people, it's very different from. Uh, Facebook, you'll get used to it, it takes a bit of time, and you've got to have patience, and it will eventually work for you. It, it does take a bit of time. I think that's, no, there's, I'm sure that I've forgotten a few things. This is what puts people off Twitter for quite a bit of, of, now, sorry, I should stop talking. Right, so, this is the feature I use to control the information, and it's not as easy to find. So, when you go to the gears, there's two ways to do it. You can either use it from the gears here, and lists, lists highlight or you can go from here under under there under more to lists as i'm saying it's not exactly well shown you go to lists and if you look what i've got i've got personal i've got the experts small businesses small business news and aspiration oh, asp i'm currently going through some of them to change some of them but i'm going to click on my news thing and this is the, this is the items i have uh, on my feed, my news feed, and I use this to just to digest uh, news. I've only got twelve uh, view um, num uh, members on it, and you, and it's all about the technology stuff for the news and all the stuff I'm sort of following. I have, and I've created this as my list. I can share it publicly or privately, and I've created this list where I go to get the news. And many of these things, it keeps full, as you can see, new tweet, you refresh it, more. So that's how I, I digest the news. Now, this is how I use a control Facebook. And I've got small business, it's very much similar to the one that I've got on Facebook. And why is it not shown? <sighs> Great, isn't it? Great for tutorial. If I remember, it is. One thing to do say is that Facebook, um, I like f Facebook, you will get a few bugs. And Twitter used to be notoriously buggy, but not as bad anymore. But you will still get the odd bug from time to time. This is a feed I've created about local businesses in Scotland. You, any, I've got six subscribers. Six people have subscribed to it. It can be helpful to some people. Um, I have 179. I tend to follow people a little more in the local uh, central Scotland area. This is my own personal feed. It's um, it's the way I can digest the local thing that's going on. I'm sorry, I keep saying digest. I don't know why. Uh, 
I think that's pretty much all the features. I've done a bare bones thing. It's not, it's not, is I don't want to make this video too long and I try to keep it as very different. It's very difficult to make this one to explain. Something is complicated, but I do think it's useful. I do, believe it or not. Thank you again for watching another one of my video tutorials. This is a two-parter. On the next video, I'll be talking about hashtags, at signs, and how to manage your Twitter followers. Until next time, take care everyone. Your mouse to apps. I go to unfollowme.com. Well, oh, not. Dot me, sorry. And I've lost internet access. Oh, great. <laughs> I've just lost internet access right in the middle of a video. Ugh.